you attacking my base? Oh, they're right? attacking you. They're trying Who's to kill you. Me? The Vertibots. What did no. you do to them? They're actually attacking uh, the... They're actually targeting you. Let's just see. I did some things. Well, they're at my house, and I don't appreciate that. I don't... Oh, where are they? I don't see them. Try looking up. Perhaps you won't my autograph. No, not you. Oh god, there goes my anti... Oh, they're dead. Okay. I didn't even... I don't even see them. Well, my missile is going crazy. Oh, are they like up there? Well, they're dead now. They left. They despawned. Hold on. I, oh. I just can't believe that you glitched the game. <laughs> I didn't glitch. I didn't glitch shit. You. It was hard earned. Bullshit! I hate you so much. Look at that beautiful. I don't. I I I I put the junkyard on the arm because it looked nice. No, it doesn't. I hate you so much. Yeah. I hate you. Well, do you remember what you said? You said you'd give me forty no, euro. No, you. I'm not doing yeah, it over a glitch. If you said, legitimately you... had it, you don't have it. legit. You got through a glitch. I'm going to ask what Bethesda mean? to remove it from your account. This video is proof. Huh? You heard me. You glitched the system. Todd Howard's coming for you now. I didn't glitch shit. Man. Todd right Howard. There. Todd Howard is gonna come back and fix his error. I use. <laughs> <laughs> Todd Howard is working on Elder Scrolls 6 and Don't... crying that Starfield wasn't as great as it hey, should have been. I like Todd Howard. I've said this to Jelly. I think he's a good guy. I think he's done some good games. I just think they gotta move away from this engine. <laughs> the creation engine too. Creation <laughs> engine has had its time, Todd. Please let it let it rest. Please. I Make creation engine two and it was just a retool of creation engine one. I don't know, but all I know is the fuck the Fallout 76 is hitting 30 frames per second on my crap top, and I'm happy about that when I'm in college. Hi. It sure has been a while since Fallout Part One, and I do apologize for that. For an update on that, I recommend watching this video. Before we start, I need to mention one thing. Thanks for the positive reception. Very happy with it. Now back to the video. Because I repair and build so much power armor, I need resources. Obviously, Fallout 76 is a resource management game. One of the most important resources is a fluid. No, yeah, I'd count it as a fluid. Oil. I need a faster way of getting oil because mining oil from excavation machines and finding oil, it's not fast enough. That's what I found out about a thing called cutting fluids. Only one problem. You can only get from two sources. Mutation packs, which rare enough, and there's thousands of different recipes and plants you can get from that. So, unless I want to spend years grinding this game, not worth it. So that means, option two, doing a quest very early on, an optional side quest in the corner of another mission to get it as a reward. There is only one small problem. I've already done that quest. And second, there's only a one in five chance of getting it. There is five different recipes you can be rewarded. So, do you know what that means? It's time for a new character. First again is Joseph Stalin, so this one's gonna be Mussolini. Can we get a picture of Mussolini on the screen? Alright, we got a very evil man who did not do a lot of good things. Going to be my uh, new character. Alright, so he didn't have any facial hair. He did have a bit of a face though on him. Bit of a... Bit of a hell up. Can we... Yeah, okay, let's make this guy bald. Okay. Okay. No facial hair. Mostly need to not have any facial hair. Well, you owe me 40 quid, Cobra. No, I don't. Anyway. Yes, you do. Terminal, actually shut up. I'm trying to actually make a, a, a dictator here. <laughs> what color did, was Mussolini's eyes? I think brown. And the painting, they're brown, not blue. Oh, you're not there alone, I see. What? You got a friend there called Flatline Reaper. That's cringe as fuck. How do I change the eye color? Uh, e oh, yeah, last time, that was like really hard because there's like s muscles around there that you can customize too. Mm hmm. 
or something. Yeah. Did Mussolini have any scars? Well, apparently he was shot in the face by an Irish woman. Based, so he has a nose injury. So, a bit of a nose injury. He was quite a large-ish man, by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, someone sent me a friend request. Or, at least they, they asked me to join their team. Oh. I'll right. just send a friend request. Now, I do have to uh, spell it, so I'm going to call him Bino. Um, Mussolini. Okay, so he's Bino Mussolini. Uh, yeah. Why did they give him hair? He doesn't have hair. I mean, yeah, it's just a lot more underwhelming than I thought it would be. Let's rock it to the person I've just started. You have to, like, convince him, hey, I'm gonna kill these guys, but I want the rewards. And then that's now I have, like, a one in five chance of getting the, uh, the item. Or not the item, the recipe. Hananize a new Vegas ending, and I don't know how I feel about that. Wait, seriously? Yeah, it takes place in uh takes place in San Fran. We go, we literally are in. We're, we see an NCR flag in the trailer. Did so we before New Vegas? Or? Oh no, this takes place after Fallout Four. This is a, t a decade what? after Fallout Four, so it's been like tw So this takes place about fifteen years after the events of New Vegas. So they're gonna have to explain which ending is real. Well, it's probably or every somehow me, say none of them are people. Imagine we see the fucking courier. I don't know how weird that would be. <laughs> Why do I have twenty-eight stim packs? Man, I they really made this game easier. From everything. Hey, Jelly, can you All get red pin there? Tape, I will eat. All right. Well, I killed a bunch of rages with the drill, so I'm happy now. All right, now we uh, now we have to go back to Daniel and see if we get the reward. And then you get the great job in the world terminal. You get to sit and defend it. Oh. Uh. Oh my God, he gives you so yeah. much stuff. Come on. Cutting fluid. First try. First try. Oh. Make sure you are it, drop it, buddy. All right, come here. Come into this house. Come here. Yeah, come in. Come if, here. And then we're gonna go off into the nuke and die to lose it. Sure. Now, terminal, please don't actually freaking read this. Okay. Okay. Just, just stay there. Go to switch character now. Hey, yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> what the fuck? Where did you even find the, uh, that image from? Because I know the comic. <laughs> I know what comics that's from. It's from fucking Devil's Jew Publishing, Cobra Commander issue like 36 huh? or something. There's, so, there's someone in our server called Mistress Kitty. Oh, wow, Terminal, and you're a hound. You're gonna fucking hound her. Oh? No. Anyway, Jelly here. I'm gonna turn on my camera. Hi, hi, this. Red. Yeah, I know. Turtles oh, weird. Red. Anyway, J Jelly. Hi, behold, Red. I picked this hi, up. Red. Is my camera working? It's still loading for me. That's so weird. Turn it off and what? on again. Is right, your sure? mic working, Red? Or <laughs> do I have Red? No, Red's user volume is. Here, I'll just wait. I'll just wait for it to load. Oh god, did I load into the right world? Statistic little prick. Do it. <laughs> it was two ninety nine jelly. It was two ninety nine. Okay, that's pretty cute. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I have it beside my SH big words. Oh, recipe cutting fluid first attempt, J ladies and gentlemen. Oh, thanks to the furry. Oh, look at you, you little. I literally have video of you barking like a dog. No, you don't. On bet. Yeah. Terminal. I wasn't barking. 
I know what I said, Cobra. You're not winning this. I am winning this. Alright, now I can craft all the oil in the world, and I can still beat Terminal Vass. Another reason why I needed the oil was to finally complete the T-65 power armor. So here it is, finally. I decided to complete a few quests that I missed out when I was playing the game. One of those being the Brotherhood questline. Um, I found it quite funny that uh, it asked me to find Fort Defiance when I already found it. And the DMV experience was kind of what I expected, to be honest. Warning! Office hours are ending. Associated paperwork identified. A3. Scanning. Scanning. Error ID. 34B. Forward slash 1. Valid birth certificate required. Consult the helpful error assistance entries on the application terminal. Have a nice day. Scanning. Scanning. Error ID. 34B. Forward slash 1. Valid birth certificate required. Consult the helpful error assistance entries on the application terminal. Have a nice day. A3. Paperwork identified. Scanning. Scanning. Everything is in order. Proceed to the photography station to receive your government ID card. Have a nice day. Now see, if I was going to join the Brotherhood, I would have to look like I'm part of the Brotherhood. So that meant getting a new costume, a new armor. I decided to go with the Marine Armor Helmet and the Brotherhood of Steel Field Scribe Uniform. I also pulled out my old T-51B, gave it a bit of a new paint job as well. Also decided for more personalization I was going to run the Limber Hill Mel Helmet. Now for weapons, the Brotherhood of Steel are energy based, so I decided for this I would actually challenge myself and use only laser and energy weapons, which meant making the new Gauss weapon. So I decided to get a sleep. Play a bit of the, um, what's this instrument called? It's the, um, violin. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't have time for you right now. You're not one of mine. Don't tell me you followed that automated program Taggarty's people left behind at Fort Defiance. I respect that you did that. That was a desperate measure on their part, and doesn't represent true Brotherhood traditions. You want to be one of us? My chin for me represents Interplay's Living Brotherhood of Steel. Me. Introverted, very wary of the outside world, and obsessed with, you know, the Brotherhood of Steel, you know, protection of old technology yeah. against You're the here. old world. Good. God, this map is weird to use. What's that green circle thing? Oh shit, it appears I have stumbled across the Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> Do you think they would be annoyed if I tried to uh, lockpick the door? Hello and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, you're a May very I jolly fella, here? if I'm being completely honest. I'm sorry, I, I really can't. They they said not to. So apparently, I have to find something to prove my worth here in this glow place. Uh, don't be too bad. Alright, I've made it back. I found some something? flares. Does right. that count? But um, the high elder said you have to give it to me. You don't need to lie. Just come uh, back when no, you have no, some. No, guess not. All right. So, we one have day. to do some objectives. This person wants raiders done. This person wants guns. Yeah. 
this person wants to make a trade deal. Something of me honest, I completely forgot. And uh, this person wants sign experiments. What is it now? Something yes. I can do for you. Something, Something I can fucking help you Joshua with. Gray. I am waiting to speak with the Brotherhood. I will find you. Make no mistake. God willing, you will not leave this valley. Perhaps I spoke too hastily. I can be rather unthinkingly brusque. Duck, are you working with this knight? This better be worth it. I had heard that the Brotherhood possessed advanced technology. My research is always in need of equipment and material. I came to see if an arrangement could... Given the state of my fellow supplicants, I would like... Thank you. After talking to those four people, we get asked to help Scride Valdez investigate... Yes, really, I don't actually know what it was. While there, I get to test out the new Gauss rifle and kill some mole rats. Do some other wonky things. Kill a few robots that I accidentally activate. Talk about Ultrasight, and apparently Ultrasight is very rare. I wish I knew that before I, you know scrapped it all and got rid of it because it was taking up so much junk because I got so much of it while killing mole miners all the time. After proving our epicness and worth, we finally get to go on our own mission, and I just realized we haven't actually talked about this person. This is Paladin Rahimi. She is Bethesda's interpretation of the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, by saving people, helping everyone, doing good, you know, stuff like that. Not like, you know, the Californian Brotherhood of Steel at all. First time I could ever think of, somebody gets annoyed that we came into their house randomly. And here we get to get on the amazing side quest of killing ghouls. My favorite, because I absolutely love killing ghouls. They're my, I'm so happy. However, we actually get to make a choice. We get to actually decide which brother we get to take along with us and get them to join the Brotherhood, which I thought was, you know, kind of interesting. Uh, it's a shame when I was watching over this, I never actually did anything with that. I don't think I ever met them in... In um, Fort Atlas. I'm sure this farm isn't. Can you make me a? All right. I went with Colin for no reason. I just wanted some help fighting ghouls. Spoiler alert: he was useless. After having the best time clearing the ghouls out, like the best time I had. Just, I just, I love fighting. With that taken care of, and Colin now joined the Brotherhood, our next quest was to track stolen weapons to a Bloody Eagle count and clear it out. After we meet Dagger, and depending on how we resolve the dialogue, you can be given a really cool looking, but useless Hellstorm rocket launcher if you own the Boomstick. I decided it would be better for me to just take care of them. And out of kindness, I gave the weapons away to Jenny. Oh my, this is quite a... Our next quest took us to the crater, where I had a lovely reunion with the raiders. And something I was not expecting was the fact that the consequences from the heist came back, and Shin was not happy. 
You did what? Oh, so you were the one who broke Meg's trust and left us high and dry when the gold came to the table. You screwed us then, and you're screwing us now. So I dealt with them and had a lovely talk with you about it. I can't let it end like this. A raider who kills their own kind. From what I understand, given the service you've done for us so far, I have no choice but to assume you're trying to be funny. In order to find out where the last remaining rockets are, we need to trade with the raiders. The patrols of the Brotherhood of Steel. I, I didn't like that, so I decided to falsify some documents. Just, you know, make sure everything was okay. Then I'll show those raiders who's boss. confirmed that the losers were Brotherhood, but that was your logo on the side of those weapons. Doesn't matter to me. Forgive me, Initiate. I lost my... The information I got in return was that Foundation had bought the weapons. So after a really long, boring mission, tracking down some fool who blew up his own teammates with them, I made a great deal with the Foundation. <laughs> Let my inner enclave out. You aren't serious, are you? Fine. Foundation is a no- Take the weapons and leave. You'll have your food and water. Interesting. Not like the others. Very well. Task entered. Next, we get sent to an enclave facility to get a message out. While there, I once again try to use the fact that I'm a proud member of the enclave. Yeah, that didn't help, so I decided to pull out Chainsaw and go to town on all those who got in the way. Well, I did, until something snapped inside of me. Something... Then it came to a head when I put down a fellow power armor trooper. Rest in peace, Enclave, Scorched Chief. You will be missed. We also get a little Fallout 2 reference with Outpost Conclave. gotten a lot farther than you should have. You aren't going anywhere from here. Paladin Remy and Night Shin finally arrive, just in time to help me do nothing. I deserved a little break, but the goddamn robot kept attacking me. I just went with Rahimi and let her destroy the console because I kind of just zoned out for this entire section as I was kind of worried about the looming countdown as the servers were about to shut down and I didn't want to do this quest again. I'm 
points out during this whole uh, expedition to the Olympics so many superheroes had attacked. So we had to fight our way through them, repair Shins and Rahami's beautiful relationship, and just, just, yeah. Yeah, the timer kind of made me have to cut a few corners here. The point is, Shin and Rahami, shaky eyes, don't particularly like each other by this point. Uh, base is under attack, and uh, yeah, that, 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 that concludes the first chapter of two chapters of the Brotherhood of Steel questline. The mission was a success, and Fort Atlas is safe. Our decisive action drove the enemy from our home, as it has in the past, and will in the future. We survived the attack, but now you need to answer for what you did at the transmitter. It was inexcusable. And the Initiate here shares responsibility. You had an obligation to act, and you spat on that to support this traitor. Okay, what happened? You've been at each other's throats since you returned. I should have known something was wrong. She did what now? I destroyed the transmitter. The Elders are blind to the good we can do. We need to break free from their influence. You only did this to escape responsibility for that incident. You can't bear to face the judgment of the Elders. The Elders would have us stand trial for crimes we didn't commit. Your own sense of guilt is blinding you to that. It's clear you can't be reasoned with. I don't know why I bothered trying. These new mutants are a threat that demands our unity. For now. Enjoy your success while you can, Romani. It won't last forever. Do what you will, Shin. Cool your head and come back when you're ready to cooperate. I... I don't know what to say. Paladin Romani has always butted heads with the Elders, but cutting ourselves off entirely? And I've never seen Night Shin behave that way toward a superior officer. His rage has taken complete control of his senses. They each have beliefs so strong they die for them. Those passions drive them forward, but leave no room for compromise. I, it's clear this rift won't heal easily. There's too much animosity between those two now. I still believe that they can come together in the end, though. I plan to do everything I can to make that happen. We've been through a lot. I need some time to think. Ad Victorium Initiate. Until next time. If anyone needs help, I'll make the brother. You mean all by ourselves? You'll stay with me and find The next great chapter is helping Night Shin fight super mutants in a cave with two lovely initiates whose names I've already forgotten during this recording. <laughs> this mission was, um. It was annoying. The, the super mutants had way too much HP. This, this game really relies on you to have four people a lot of the time. Um. Uh, Game balance is very, very difficult to pull in. However, Night Shin has a great moment where he jumps on a live grenade. Uh, that that moment was great. Um, I can't let anyone else. My armor can take the blast. Cover your head. What? No. So we 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 find a pit boy and. Uh, you can tell how enthusiastic I am about this quest line, and what we'll talk about at the end. Just this quest in general. There's there's a lot of um, annoying bits regarding HP pools and bullet sponges. We get to go back to Crater and help with a missing person quest because one of the loyal Brotherhood members is trying to leave, and Shin does not like that. So we get to go back to Watoka, do some sleuthing. Kill some Hellcat Mercs who are the new enemy faction introducing the pet questline that I have yet to do. However, outside of just a really long drawn out fight with the main boss in this area, Kit is wearing the armor I see. Hellcat power armor. And once again, it's a goddamn bonnet sponge. I need to honestly look at what weapons I should be doing, as I never looked into any meta.
Once but done, I, I convinced the recruit to return back to the Brother of Steel. I hope that one day we'll be able to see each other again. Thanks again. Now, we get to do my favorite mission. Me and Rahimi team up undercover and go try to find out why people keep vanishing. In this section, we also meet one of my favorite Power characters, Ares. I love this guy so much, I looked up his VA. And yes, he does appear in more quests. Just past this door here. That's bad. Oh, that's very bad. Speak, Ares. What's a holdup? You're not gonna like this. Follow me. <laughs> yep, just like I thought. Let's chat. Welcome to the Ninth Circle of Hell. First, the good news. It's bring your own paramilitary night, so the paladin drinks for free. Well, I hope you've gotten your tetanus shot. No telling where my face has been. Uh, but here's the quick version. Clever little me locks that door by setting off a bogus gas leak alarm. But it looks like in order to lift the lockdown, you need to verify their... I'm trying to get you to... If you'll cast your steely to verify that... Winner, winner, ran. There were some engineers living down here well after the bombs fell. Which means they had a way of... Mm-hmm. Let me know if you have any... This sounds like a very... Using my boxing skills I acquired during the Enclave base, I was able to dispatch the ghouls easily. Chemical is pumping throughout the entire water system now. Clearing the vines, we now enter a huge area. Yeah, look, we, we play video games, we know what happens. Uh, I'm not gonna do the speed up footage here. As you got it already with Kit. You'll, you'll get another one later, alright? You, you'll get to another one. <laughs> Beating the Sip Squatch to death was a pain. They were trying to clearly show off the Seep Squatch event that sometimes appears on the map. Not quite. Well, that seems like a believable. They were bunked down here due to a rad storm. A large group of civilians and merchants accompanied by. Indeed. That was my take as well. Based on Cassie's description and the letter you found earlier, we can assume they were these Hellcat mercenaries. The total number of people they've abducted, though, is staggering. Nearly 15 in this trip alone. Right. A manifest. As, uh, idiosyncratic as his... I'm right here, you know! Besides, Ares was only assigned to one trip, and no one even went missing. The person I'm referring to is Dr. Blackburn. Not only was he present on multiple trips... And that's right. Cassie Joshua Graham is behind this. Which, actually, I was actually quite shocked to find out that a character that was introduced previously was the main villain from the previous questline. I actually was, I thought, like, hey, that's, that's a good twist. Uh, good, good, uh, good job, Bethesda's writing. So now we go to Vault 96, and after a once again boring clear-out mission, look, I, I think I might be a bit too harsh on this game due to the fact that I played it all in one sitting. The entire questline I beat in, like, one day. Outside of the time I had to leave because the server was going down, so I might have... I might be a bit too harsh on this game. However, I'm just going to let Joshua Graham explain himself here. Does that term even apply when the goal is the permanent protection of humanity from the horrors of the wasteland? I told you my work focused on the health of Appalachia's people. You must see that my research was towards that aim. FEV was never intended to be a source of abominations and grotesqueries. It was to be the next step in human evolution. Our refinement into something greater. 
Certainly the fools at West Tech were more obsessed with observing its failures than correcting them. But its true purpose was for good. And now it will fulfill that purpose. Because of me. Listening to this is making me understand Shin's point of view. Do you believe I did this all blind? With each iterate, I have no doubt. After seeing what you've done here. Despise me if you will. I have no doubt that you... Yes, I assumed as much. Consider me arrested if you must. My work here is complete. Simply that I have achieved my goal. The ep My sacrifices. Why can't do anything with it now? Have I given you any reason to believe I have not already... Okay, that's not good. I am at your dis... You can head out. I'm sure the others are going... You know what I'm also just realizing is that they just kind of did a really watered down, copy pasted, but got corrupted, obviously, version of the Master from Fallout 1 using FEV to cure people. At least the Enclave were aware that FEV was dangerous as they were using it as a weapon. Once we get to West Tech, which I forgot to mention, we have to go to West Tech because that's where the FEV is, we meet three scientists. These three guys are the responsible for the FEV along with Joshua Graham. So, you know, I've, I feel like I should probably put that there for context of what, what's happening here. Joshua Graham sorry, this must decides to okay. test it on himself. I think my PC was getting tires as it froze during this section during the editing, so that's not a it's not a good sign at all. Now we get to decide the fate of the scientist. I was hope kind of hoping I could kill at least one on the left and the right, as they didn't seem that regretful. While the one in the middle was actually sympathetic, and if that one person wasn't there, I think I would have just killed them all. So on that note, I signed to Hirohimi, and let Shin return to California. The world. Wish I could have gone with him. I'll bring the scientists back to Fort Atlas, then we can discuss everything that's happened. Beyond just the Brotherhood of Steel, I won't take you away from Appalachia. As such, I'm granting you the unique title of Knight Errant. The Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel, I hereby name you Knight Errant. You may split your time with the Brotherhood as you see fit. We are forever grateful for what you've done for us. Now everyone, feel free to take a short break before your next assignment. You've earned it. And with that, I have now completed the Brotherhood of Steel questline. I decided to keep the T-51 as a memento. Because, it, you know, it was my armor worth out the entire thing. I didn't repair it once, so I'm actually surprised it survived. And the Hellcat power armor is now displayed in my vault. So I'm gonna have to make this really quick. So what's next? <clears throat> if this video does reach, okay, hold on. Let me let me redo. I promised that if the first video reached 5,000 views, I would do a part two. But due to the fact time, I actually had to make part two anyway. So here's my deal. If this video and the previous video hit a combined total of 5,000 views, I will do a part three where I go and get the Strangler Heart Power Armor. Now I need to make this super goddamn quick because I only have like four gigabytes left on my hard drive. The, the whole cache system regarding editing, so I've been caching and saving because there's been so much editing, it's actually taken up so much of my hard drive space that I'm actually l just about to run out. So I need to make this quickly, so I'm gonna make this really quick. Thank you so much. If you made it to the end of this, thank you. Honestly, this has been a real blast. I know this video wasn't 
wasn't really happy to make it. I think, again, as I say, I, I don't think I should have rushed into it, but I really wanted to get this video out while I have a bit of free time, because college is like three weeks left. I just, I just wanted to give you, because I said I would have it out by the end of March. It, we are now on like the end of March. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.